Hi, I'm William Mayhew, and I'm here to present tonight's events. Now, uh, Definitely speed data. Ladies and gentlemen, the speed dating event starts in 20 minutes. Please take a seat and enjoy your time until it begins. Oi, girl, I completely missed your name. I'm Rose. Beautiful! Fiery and enrupturing like Queen Elizabeth. Thank you. I'm taking it you're an artist? I'm what you call a stealer dealer. I'll give you a deal for a steal. Or is it I steal to give you a deal? Don't know. Me mum knows me tagline. Is that legitimate? My mum always said, all art is still in the soul of a painter. And who can put a monetary price on the soul? Well, you're right. Who can? Well, uh, I can. I mean, I did pass the art bar exam. I can appraise and sell. Okay. Well, who painted that? This is a painting from one of the greatest artists of our time, Pula. You can see her in her most famous piece, Mount Everest, a self-portrait. I've never heard of that piece. What's one of the less famous pieces? Her most brooding, yet underrated piece, Cocaine, Daddy's Coffee. Is that one of your deals? No, this is the most remarkably modern piece. It is who I represent in her purest form. Pula calls it not an easy landing, broken foot. It's an interesting piece. <laughs> her paint strokes are most exquisite. See, Pula doesn't use any brushes, just her phalanges. Pula is, quote, as saying, brushes and other external paint applicators take away the emotion that the artist is trying to represent. Clogs the natural rhythm. Very interesting. Who else do you represent? Just Pula. I told myself, why would I settle for crayons if I could work for Faber Costell? Besides the painting, er, technique of painting, what about her life? Trials, tribulations, women's suffrage, etc. Why you just represent her? Or is it paid that good? Pola, in her purest form, reminds me of me mom. Pains in the colours. Very deep and inspiring. I only make a modest living. What's your mother's name? Well, I'd love to hear your name again instead. Call me crazy, but are you the guy from last week? At the RV place? I was the man from last week. I wanted to show you my master of disguise. Good day. 
So is Pula a real artist or is that part of his getup? You can drop that English accent. It's Paula, and that was the whole truth about the twisted finger behind the back. An artist all her life. Obviously she had a creative child. So what's your mother run these days? Twenty dollars. It's all a part of my SS motto. SS? Steal her savings. On account of the event. What event? Uh, the speed dating event. Wait, wait, are you trying to sell a painting at a dating circle? Well, yeah. I mean, I figured since I'm already flawless with the ladies, I might as well up the ante and sell a painting at the same time. All right, it was my gas money to get back home. But I figured if I sell enough, I'd get some milk and cheese for the house as well. I think I'll bring up a moment from my mother where she warned me about guys like you. Well, I would like to take you on a date, regardless of whatever truth your mother may or may not have warned you about. You're trying to sell a painting to women at a speed dating event. How are you going to take me on a date? May I suggest a partnership? Well, I do have tomorrow off, and I was only going to spend the night with Vin Diesel and Netflix. Somehow though, this has got my attention. Split the fingers. Put words between them. Well, I asked you for a date. The problem you have is I live with my mother and you don't think I'm man enough for a night on the town with you. <laughs> with you. And of course, in the ever-present future, marriage. I mean, think about it. If you roll with me, I can make you a mother for the rest of your life. I was with you, with the not man enough, the rest just kind of Hindenburg. Well, plot twist. I have more paintings in my car, and I proclaim I could sell all of those paintings. What's in it for me? All the money you could want. At least enough to go to a proper bar and not get well drinks. Well, I suppose I did get dressed up. Well, what say you? A three-way plot to find date and taxing money? With a complete stranger, or the ever surreally realistic movie night with Mr. TV. Although you're not bad looking, it's probably Mr. Blu-ray with HD TV and a three-way with Mr. High-Speed Wi-Fi. Kinky girl. Before I agree, what's your plan of action? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. 